Salmon Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things. Welcome back to Airman Cave Archives. All right, so tonight I thought we would talk about some baseball memorabilia. We'll start off with our Jackie Robinson ball. The Jackie Robinson ball actually has a pretty cool story to it. My grandfather supposedly had gone down to Miami to visit. He went to see a baseball game, an exhibition game, or a spring training game. There is a pretty cool autograph on it, actually several, but the one in point is right across the sweet spot, Jackie Robinson. So if you don't know who Jackie Robinson is, obviously he's the one that uh, broke the color barrier in baseball. I thought it was kind of a neat opportunity to be able to have something like that and for him to decide to actually get it autographed by a bunch of the different players. There's another one on here though that's kind of interesting. The extra autograph that's above the Jackie Robinson is Archie Vaughn. Now, Archie Vaughn, he was a Hall of Fame player that also had the opportunity to play with Annis Wagner and some of the other greats of that time. But what makes his autograph so special was shortly after he retired from baseball, I believe the story goes that he was out fishing with some friends and family and the boat capsized. Back in the day, during the uh, 40s, you know, 50s time frame, People didn't really get a lot of autographs or think to do that type of thing. And so for this Hall of Fame player to be uh, have his life cut short and not have a long history up until his uh, older age signing autographs and things of that nature. So it's kind of uh, special as well to be able to have that one on there. And there's a bunch of different ones, but like Leo DeRocher, the uh, manager for the, the Dodgers and stuff. Kind of cool. Uh, interesting piece of uh, baseball memorabilia. So what I thought we'd do is keep it in the theme of baseball and go with my collection of used game bats. Now they're tucked away over in the corner. These are pretty neat uh, just for the simple fact that they're game used but uh, this poor guy he got crushed. This is a uh, Wally Moon bat. And as you can see, the uh, knob's gotten sheared off from it. And then, what else do we have? We've got a, uh, this is Al Kaline. He was a Detroit Tigers, I believe, uh, great. And so that's pretty neat. The, my grandpa, whenever he got this, is all from uh, Grandpa Cotton. The handle, I guess he wanted to try and preserve it, and so he did some electrical tape and some nails on it. But yeah, that is uh, the Al Key line. And last but not least, this guy, I, I dare say that he would have been a, a next Hall of Fame great up there with Hank Aaron and everything, but uh, such is life, you know, in baseball whenever things happen. But this is uh, Tommy Davis, uh, game used bat, and it's, it's kind of cool because if you look, the way that the handle is, it's a, a smooth handle to it. So it's different than the traditional um, handles on a, a bat, as you can see. Now, whenever I was able to acquire these, was as a kid, I would always go on those adventures and stuff and treasure hunts in my grandparents' attic. Well, out in my grandfather's garage over the bathroom, and I did brave going through the, uh, the funk of the bathroom after a grandpa visit. I just happened to be looking up into the, the raptor area, and I saw a bunch of the, 
the knobs from the bats just kind of hanging off the end. And I was like, Grandpa, what, what's up there? And he said, oh, those are just some old bat. Can I take a look at them? And he's like, yeah, I guess. And then he brought them down, and I'm looking. And I was like, uh, Grandpa, these are game-used bats. And he's like, well, yeah, I got them from Dodger Town whenever we would go see some of the games and stuff. I was like, but, okay, okay, well, do you mind if I have them? He's like, yeah, no, that, I don't care, bro. You can have them if you want to. It was kind of neat to be able to have these uh, pieces of baseball memorabilia. Pretty cool, and I was excited as a kid, obviously, uh, like a kid in a candy store. Now that you know about my uh, bats and ball, uh, why don't you do yourself a favor and start going on a couple treasure hunts yourself and track down some goodies. So I appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Aaron Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things.